Hi, David Johnson here, pastor of New Tabor Brethren Church. Welcome to Bible Booth. I want to talk today about one word. It's called finish. That's a big, big word. A lot of people start things, but not many people finish. And it, it's often been said it's not how you start, it's how you finish. In every conflict, in every competition, there's one finisher. The victor is the finisher. The finisher determines the end. There are trash talkers out there, people that talk smack or whatever you want to call it. And then there are the finishers, the ones that take care of business at the end of the game. Now, are there trash talkers in the Bible? Of course there are. Of course there are. Let's look at 1 Kings chapter 20, verses 10 through 11. One of my favorite um, passages, I love to repeat this, because a lot of people don't know this scripture is there, they don't know the story. Ben-Hadad sent another message to David. This is a king. He was actually the king of Damascus from Assyria, or what is known today as modern Syria. Ben-Hadad sent another message to Ahab, king of Israel. May the gods deal with me, be it ever so severely, if enough dust remains in Samaria to give each of my men a handful. The king of Israel answered, Tell him, one who puts on his armor should not boast like one who takes it off. I think that's one of the first recorded in history of smack talk, trash talking. I love both sides. And Ahab, who was a, not a good king in Israel, but in this moment, he, he really puts the record straight. Now, Ben-Hadad, again, was killed in this battle. So it's obvious who won the battle. Not the trash talker, but the one that said, hey, you know what, pal? You ought not talk like you're taking your armor off. You're only putting it on. Ben-Hadad was killed in that fight against Israel. So make no mistake about this. Jesus is a finisher. He doesn't need to trash talk. He doesn't need to smack talk. He's a finisher. Satan is a smack talk and a trash talker. Satan, feeling that he had defeated Jesus on the cross, begins to trash talk. Did he? Oh yeah. Let's look at it. Matthew 27 and verse 42. These are the people that Satan is speaking through. These are the Pharisees and the Romans and the crowd that's out there mocking Jesus. And Satan is the author of this stuff. He saved others. They scoff. But he can't save himself. That's talking trash. So, so he's the king of Israel, is he? Let him come down from the cross right now, and we will believe in him. This is trash talking. And it's another instance in Scripture. You wonder if it's in the Bible? Yeah, Old and New Testaments. There it is. Trash talkers always run their mouth before the finish. Then something happens. John chapter 19, we're going to read verses 28 and 30. Later, knowing that everything had been finished. This is speaking of Jesus. And so that scripture would be filled, fulfilled, Jesus said, I'm thirsty. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. It's not trash talk. It's not smack talk. It's finisher talk. Jesus said, it is finished. And with that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. And with that came our salvation, came our deliverance, came our redemption, and the defeat of Satan on the cross. Jesus says, it is finished. This is what the finisher gets to say. And if it stopped there, that would have been great. But no, Colossians chapter 2 and verse 15. Now Jesus does something. He goes into hell to take the keys of death, hell, and the grave. And this is what it says, speaking of Jesus. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them by the cross. Yeah. So there's Jesus taking his victory lap. Not smack talking. He has won the battle. So I want to encourage you to be a finisher. I'm a finisher. How about you? Having said that, I'm now finished. God bless you. We'll see you next time on Bible Boost.